Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we rotate and scale clips in Premiere Pro. Now you may have noticed if you bring in images or video from your iPhone then they may be rotated um, the wrong way. So they may be portrait rather than landscape which doesn't necessarily fit with a video edit. So this is one of the reasons this popped up for me today. Um, so let's dive into Premiere Pro and look at how we bring in a video that's been shot in portrait on an iPhone and then rotate it back to a landscape format and scale it down to fit the timeline. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is create our new timeline. So we're going to go into Premiere Pro and we're going to go to File, New and Sequence. Okay, so one of the most important things here to get right is the frame rate. So we're looking at, for a frame rate of 29.97 frames per second or 30 frames per second. Okay, the footage we've shot is in 1080p but we're going to scale it down to 720p. So we're looking for this HDV format. 720p at 30 frames per second. Okay, so we'll find that in Premiere Pro, click OK, and then we have our sequence set up. Now, if we go to our iPhone footage and we drag this clip straight down to the timeline here, then we'll get this option that asks us if we want to change our sequence settings to that iPhone format. Now, if we do that, it's going to change it to this portrait format. So we don't actually want to go ahead and do this. We're going to keep the existing settings. Okay, now once we've done that, the video is going to be larger than the edit that we set up. Okay, so we need to go ahead and scale that. So for this, we're looking for the effect controls um, for the motion properties of this video, which allow us to rotate and scale the video and get it into the right format. So if we highlight this video, okay, and you may see up on the top left the source tab visible, but we want to look for the effect controls um, that are listed here. So once we're in the effect controls, we're looking for these motion properties. So if we drop this down, okay, then we're going to go to first of all the rotation. So we're rotating this counterclockwise. So I'm going to type in minus 90, which is going to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then we're going to scale this. So the exact proportion of the 1080p footage um, size in 720p um, is 66.67. So if we type in 66.67, then our clip should fit perfectly to our new sequence here. Okay, so we have one clip um, that fits perfectly to the timeline. So now if we drag any new clips um, into our timeline, I'm just going to drag a clip down here into the project window so that we can keep dragging it down to the timeline. So if we grab this clip and drag it down to the timeline, Okay, this second clip is still going to be formatted in that original portrait format. Okay, so just as an example, if we have a few of these clips, and we'll have to imagine for the moment that these are lots of different clips that are in this portrait format, we can use a feature here in Premiere Pro called copy and paste attributes. So if we come to this first clip that we've already adjusted and highlight it and go to edit and copy, we can then drag a marquee around all those other clips okay that are scaled as portrait and go to edit and paste attributes and in here we can paste things like the motion the opacity any time remapping that we've done and any effects that we've got will be listed as well so we're gonna basically paste these video attributes okay which is the mainly the motion attributes that we need to paste click OK and it will scale all those other videos um, to that format so now we have all our videos scaled to our edit and ready to work with in Premiere Pro. So that's how to scale and rotate the videos if they've been shot on your iPhone and they're appearing as portrait. There is another option here as well. So if we bring our playhead to the right, and I'm just going to drag another clip to the timeline. The other option is to do a split screen. Okay, so if we're wanting to do a, a split screen with these different clips, then we can change the, the scale. So I can scale this clip down and then what I can do with this is drag this clip across. So I'm holding down Alt to make a duplicate of that clip and then I'm going to drag the video and audio to different layers. Okay, So I'm going to select this clip now, I've got it in that second layer and I'm going to come up here and change the position. So if I drag this to the left you can see I now can move that clip and just drop it into place there. And I'm just going to adjust the scale a little bit so we don't have any of those black lines in between. And then I can do the same again, so hold down Alt duplicate that clip and then move it up and down to the next video and audio layers. Okay, and then I can slide this clip to the right and we can fill that screen with a nice split screen. Okay, We're using the same video here but obviously with different videos this will work quite nicely too. Okay, so that's how to deal with portrait iPhone footage that you've shot either to scale it back to a landscape format or to think about how you could create a split screen with that footage. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial in Premiere Pro and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.